Hello, welcome along and in this video we're going to be looking at Scratch and making a game over screen that appears when your lives get down to zero. Now to do this I've got a very basic bouncing ball game here. It's not, been world, not the world's most accurate bounce so please bear with me and I've moved the paddle to bounce it. Um, if the ball touches the floor sprite down here, which at the moment is hidden, so let me just show that, there it is, then you'll lose a life. Now what I want to happen is the background to change, the, say game over, and all of the variables and the sprites to disappear when lives equals zero. So the first thing I've done is on the stage, for backgrounds, I've put two backgrounds, game screen and game over. And I've written a script so that when the green flag is clicked, the background switches to the main game screen and that lives are set to three. Now, what we want to do here is to create a broadcast. So, we need to set up a condition. So when the green flag is clicked, wait until... and we want lives to equal zero. So I'll get my equals operator out and put zero in it and get my variable lives and drag that in. There we go. So we're going to wait until lives equals zero and then I want it to switch to background. No, I don't. Excuse me. I want it to broadcast something. And the broadcast that I want it to broadcast is, call, is going to be called game over. There we go. Now also on the stage when I receive, again from your control menu, when I receive game over, this is where we want it to switch to background game over. <coughs> the other thing that I want the stage to do is when we go to the game over background, I want to hide these two variables. So go to variables, choose the hide variable. I've got two, so lives and score. And I'll put those there. And if you've hidden them, when you switch a background, you need to make sure they they appear again at the start of the game. So here, when the green flag is clicked at the start of the game, show variable lives and show variable score. So what will happen is when my lives changes to zero, it'll flick to the background, game over, and these two things will disappear, my two variables. However, my sprites at the moment will still stay on screen. This is why we use the broadcast. So I'll go to my ball and write a little script that says when I receive game over hide. There we go. Now if you've done that you need to make sure when the green flag is clicked to start the game again you show that sprite. So I'm just going to duplicate that across to my paddle and to my floor and make sure that they're both being shown. There we go. One. That one's not being shown so I'll put a little show in and that should work. So let's test it out. Lost one life, lost two lives, and there we go, switches to my game over. So that's how to make a game over screen. Go and have a go.